<laughs> hey guys, Marlin here from Games and Warriors channel and I have a quick news video for you guys today and this is regarding a rumor and this is about the Nintendo NX. So take this with a grain of salt, but some of these rumors are starting to get really interesting here. So apparently the Nintendo NX will have x86 architecture and interact with smart uh, devices, uh, smart device apps. So we know uh, Mitomo is already out, so that would make sense uh, for the NX to really support smart device apps and stuff and, and such. Uh, but yeah, so link will be in the description for y'all to check this out. I'm not going to read the whole entire article, but basically what they're saying is the NX will feature the x86 architecture, backup data to the Nintendo server, most likely my Nintendo, uh, support for an additional screen. Now remember rumors were going around saying that the NX will have a handheld version. So you basically will have the, um, the handheld version of it, which the rumor has it that it was supposed to come out this year and then the console version will come out in 2017. So here we are again, they're saying that it's going to support a second additional uh, screen. Also can handle ports of current gen games. So is that meaning that it can uh, handle um, games from the Wii U? or from the Wii or I don't I, I don't know there's like a, a gray area there but that would be pretty cool if you can actually play Wii U games on uh, the NX also will be able to interact with smartphone devices so you know you have your iPhone and your Android and Mitomo is available so you can download it uh, download the app and use it so that that's pretty cool there we already know that that Nintendo is trying to go into the mobile market there using NX software will unlock my Nintendo reward points so that is really cool I hope Nintendo will have a sort of an achievement feature so when you play the games you get rewarded somehow um, but yeah, this is uh, pretty cool stuff here. Take this with a grain of salt and with the x86 architecture That is pretty much a backward uh, compatibility sort of uh, CPU right there or the architecture is uh, based off of backward compatibility uh, architecture, so does that mean that it's going to be backward compatible to the Wii U or uh, backwards compatible somehow it's kind of hard to explain but leave your thoughts down below and let me know what you think in other news nintendo looks to be going back to their red uh back to red in its marketing um logo again so i really love the 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 marketing logo with the red and the white um on the on the logo there it looks pretty cool so we saw the signs of this late last year when consumers noticed various nintendo stores displaying red and white and today nintendo of america has updated its logo to the red version during the wii and ds era nintendo changed their logo and marketed materials gray and white so i remember that but now it appears as though they are back to embracing the red and white again so i love the red and white i love red and i love white let me know in the comments what you think about the red and white logo um but yeah th that that rumor sounds pretty decent with the whole a a um sorry x 86 architecture that sounds pretty good and all the other features and such that I mentioned in the video uh, Leave in the comments down below. Let me know what y'all think thumbs up this video because it really helps out the channel a lot when y'all thumbs it up It shows me that you're interested in the video and take care and stay subscribed for more content to come and peace I'm out It's me Wario click my nose to subscribe. What are you waiting for? Come on! Come on! Wah! <laughs>